And the dire situation in Texas hospitals is getting worse. Right now, just under 14,000 Texans are hospitalized due to the virus. That's just 286 hospitalizations shy of the pandemic record that was set on January 11th. KVU's Derenisha Heron joins us live from the newsroom tonight. And Derenisha, this really is a big concern as hospitals try to deal with medical needs other than COVID. That's right, Quita. Some Texas hospitals have had to close emergency rooms in open field hospitals during this surge. Thankfully, that's not the case in the Austin area just yet. But spokespeople for the three largest hospital systems in Austin say they are having to make the tough decision about who needs care first. And some have had to limit elective surgeries recently. And it's not just bed capacity that's causing this issue. Staffing is low. Today, the state health department announced is deploying another 2,500 medical staff to hospitals across Texas, bringing that number up to more than 8,000 total. A leader at the Texas Hospital Association told me they appreciate the state's help, but it will take weeks to actually relieve some of these hospitals, and that's concerning. We have schools starting, so the children now um, in the classroom potentially spreading it. We know that we're headed into flu season. Um, and add to that, our first tropical storm is threatening the state. And so, you know, really at some point, there's only so much you can take. According to the state health department, as of Wednesday, areas of central Texas, Brazos Valley, and a little north of that have requested over 1,900 medical staff. So far, they've received 511. That decent sized area has also received 30 IV pumps, 20 ventilators and eight beds. So the Texas Hospital Association is begging you to do your part. You know the drill, social distance, wear a mask and get vaccinated if you can. Quita, Brian. Okay, here's Darren Isha Heron live in the newsroom tonight. Darren Isha, 